10 shots fired at 177 Jackson Street. Out of my way. Jill? Who's Jill? She's my sister. Hello Claire. I want to play a game. The device that you are attached to, will activate in 60 minutes. Your husband is playing his own game. His goal is to reach you before the clock expires. But, if he is successful, then your game begins. You see, the incident involving your daughter's demise was all about which finger was on the trigger. You motherfucker! It was Mason's hand on the gun when the round fired. He kept it a secret for months. Now I give you a choice. You can either forgive him, and both of you can walk out of here. Or you can kill him, and take your vengeance, by the push of a button. Make your choice. Surprise you! You piece of shit. ago, you said you would fix up an innocent man's car. But, you did very much the opposite. By messing with the brakes, you brought a man to his end. His name was Howard Monroe. He was 46 years old. The game before you is simple. You must keep the car on the road. It's that easy. The only problem you will have is intersections and red lights. By the time this tape is finished, you will have 10 minutes to keep your car on the road. If you stop the car for even 3 seconds, 
a signal will go off in the collar around your neck. To detonate. Live or die in a... Make your choice. Seven vehicle pursuit. Need immediate backup. Man, you need to pull over. Can I get the files from this morning, please? Thank you. Okay, guys. Since Detective Allen and Detective Clover have not been responding for a couple weeks, we will not be leading this case of the Jigsaw copycat. Let's get started. We have five people missing that we think participated in some game. One of these five is wanted for multiple armed robberies. Got a name? Dennis Norman. I'd say he's in his 30s. Plus, one of our own. Mason Hadsley. Worked here for six months. Now that's out of the way, let's discuss about this morning. The victim's name is Anna Fankley, 29-year-old female. She died in a car explosion at precisely 9.30 a.m. on the dot. Any witnesses, Robert? Only a few civilians, and one cop. I think this was a game. Exactly what I was thinking. But why do this? Why put other people in danger like this? Well, a few months ago, some guy died in a car crash, ten minutes after leaving the auto shop where she worked at. Excuse me. We just got a ping on his cell phone. Who? Jack Lopez. And people are at the scene right now. That's him all right. Must have placed his phone here. You won't believe this. All five missing victims have been found. down. here now. This guy's alive.
Hey, you're up. UK dude. What happened? The police thought you were dead. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a miracle you're still alive. What happened to you, man? Were you kidnapped? I... Mason Hansley. Yeah. I'm Detective Bennings, and this is Detective Oliver. We're from the third floor. We came to ask a few questions. Did you recognize the man who dropped you? Even better. I've known him since we were in college. But when John Kramer died, he started acting weird. Then soon after, we kind of drifted apart. In the police academy, me and him met once again. And we gained buddies. I thought he changed. Anything else? A tape. It played a tape. Who played what tape? It explained everything. Do you remember anything of your experience? No. Thank you for your time. Do you ever think why he's doing all this? Actually, I don't. If I were to guess, it would be inspiration. I kinda have this feeling- Hold up. We got another jigsaw victim. Ethan's already there. sold the little boy a so very deadly tool. That tool took, took his, his own, own life away. Now, now your past has catched up with you. The, the device that you are wearing is hooked into your, your flesh and tissue. You must insert your hands into the grinders and fill the container to the mark level. If you do not complete this task within 60 seconds, a winch will engage and rip away your life. Let the game begin. No, please. No, 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 please, no, please, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Please, please. Oh. I can't, I can't. I can't. Please stop. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Please! <laughs> he had to fill the container up to shut off the device. Any guess to what he did to be here? Let's discuss that back at the station. So afterwards you want to hit up a donor shop or something? I found this really awesome place where they make the coffee perfect. I don't think we'll even have enough time for that.
That's a problem, all right. Huh? Jill? Well, you're dead. Wait. How? <gasps> you all right? I'm going crazy. It can't be him. Show yourself. You should be very familiar with the symptoms of early heart disease. Instead of helping her, you decided to take your anger out on her by purposely giving her the wrong drug. That woman later died of cardiac arrest. George, when she did this horrendous act, you covered all of it up for her. Did you do it because you loved her? Or was it because you thought she would do the same thing to you? Tonight we will see if either of you can break free of each other. You both are currently chained in place. You are also holding two buttons. Once you press a button, the device on your wrist will begin to rotate. It will keep rotating until your bones are shattered. Once you push both buttons, you will be released. However, only one of you may pass. The one that loses will be torn in half. If no one completes this task within one minute, you both will suffer the same fate. Let the game begin. This is all your fault, you fucking bitch. Fuck you!
god. <laughs> <laughs> 